technology from the month of December lab grown meat the US food and drug administration has given safety clearance to lab grown meat till now only Singapore had approved the sale of cultivated meat products now lab grown meats also referred to as cultivated or cultured meat is meat that grows grown directly from animal cells this meat is made without the need to raise and slaughter animals lab grown meat is made using the technique of inverto muscle tissue growth the process starts by taking a few cells from the high quality livestock animal example a cow or a chicken the cells are put in a clean and controlled environment and provided with essential nutrients needed for their natural replication and maturity essentially the natural conditions existing within the animal's body are recreated so that the cells can continue to grow once the meat is ready it is harvested and processed like conventional meat products packaged and sold now benefits of lab grown meat less contamination advocates of cultural cultured meat say that it it, it is me- less likely to be infected by e coli bacteria found in living animals and other component contaminants found in meat processing plants fewer antibodies traditionally raised livestock are often given antibiotics to help them to help them keep healthy this can lead to antibiotic resistance now less environment impact cultured meat require less land and water and causes less pollution no killing of animal while cultured meat require a small sample of tissue it does not require an animal to be killed now concerns related to lab grown meat it is not vegan since lab grown meat contains animal cell it is not considered vegan its price scientists made the full first cultured meat hamburger in 2012 it costs 325000 dollars to create but as technology advances the cost cost of cultured meat should go down but it will still be expensive moving on to base editing technique in the us a teenage girl's blood cancer has been treated using the base editing technique now about t cell acute lympho- lymphoblastic leukemia that is t all T all affects the stem cells in the bone marrow that produces a particular kind of white blood cells called the T lymphocytes which is the T cells these cells provide a person immunity by killing cells carrying infections activating other immune cells and regulating the immune response typical treatment for T all is similar to that of any leukemia chemotherapy and stem cell or bone marrow transplant chemotherapy either kills the cancerous cells or stops them from further dividing if this fails the individual and if the individual is suitable doctors will conduct a bone marrow transplant now doctors now have now used a technology called base editing which was invented 6 years ago now about the base editing technique four there are four types of bases which are adenine cytosine guanine and thymine thymine These are the building blocks of human genetic code just as letters in the alphabet spell out words that carry meaning the billions of bases in the human dna spell out the instruction manual for every human body base editing allows scientists to zoom into a precise part of the genetic code and then alter the molecular structure of just one base converting it into another and changing the genetic instruction the doctors in uk use this tool to engineer a new type of t cell that is capable of hunting down and killing cancerous t cells now how does this treatment work alaya had t cells leukemia the t cells are a type of white blood cells which destroy threats in the body alaya says were out of control now doctor used base editing engine to engineer her therapy base editing changes one letter in the genetic code now d- donor t cells were edited in three ways they DNA altered to resist chemotherapy markings removed to protect donor T cells and receptors removed to prevent donor T cells attacking the body now T cells further modified to attack cancer T cells rearmed with new receptors now battle of the T cells modified T cells find and destroy cancerous T cells moving on the doctor universal flu, flu vaccine Now researchers are working on a universal flu vaccine that can work against 20 known influenza A or B viruses. Now universal vaccine there are 20 subgroups of influenza that can repre- each represent thousands of viruses 
Current vaccines can target four subgroups at the most. The current vaccine also needs to be updated every year to ensure they are good match for the flu viruses in circulation. But the experimental vaccine includes 20 different types in the hope of getting immune system to recognize any flu virus it may encounter in the future. The idea is to have a vaccine that will give people a baseline of immune memory to diverse flu strains so that there will be less, far less disease and death when the next flu pandemic occurs. Now the significance, the U universal flu vaccine is based on mRNA technology used in highly successful COVID vaccines, but it has only been tested in animals to date and it will be important to investigate its safety and efficacy in humans. This development is a very promising approach to the goal of producing a universal flu vaccine as well as vaccines that protect against multiple members of other viral families such as rhino and coronaviruses. Moving on to draft food safety and standards of genetically modified foods regulations of 2022. Now the food safety and standards that is the genetically modified foods regulation 2022 has been released by FSAI. Now about the regulation, the regulation will be applicable to food ingredients produced from GMO that contain modified DNA. They will also apply to items that do not contain modified DNA but contain ingredients, additives and processing aids derived from GMO. Three provisions of the regulation are approval of the food authority. No person, no person shall manufacture, pack, store, sell, market or otherwise distribute or import any food or food ingredients produced from GMO except with the prior approval of the food authority. Labeling of GMO products. All GMO products must be labeled with words containing contains genetically modified organisms. This is subject to the condition that if the product contains 1% or more of the GM, GM ingredients considered individually. This label must appear on the front of a pack of pre-packaged food. This labeling requirement also applies to advantageous or technically unavoidable presence of GM ingredients. The labeling requirement will not be applicable to GM food products in which the modified DNA is not detectable. Moving on to small cells for 5G deployment, the Telecom Regulation Authority of India that is TRI has released its recommendation on the use of street furniture for small cells and aerial fiber deployment. Now small cells are low powered radio access nodes or base stations that have a coverage range from a few meters up to a few hundred meters. The use of high frequency bands for 5G rollout will have shorter coverage as signals in these bands cannot travel through buildings or obstacles. Therefore, the macro cells will be required to complement to be complemented with extensive deployment of small cells so as to support all kinds of uses and applications at all locations. Advantages of small cells. Small cells provide coverage only for a very short distance and therefore are they are installed in dense or hyper dense manner. Their density can be more than 200 per square kilometer for good network coverage for high capacity broadband. Due to their low level of radiation, small cells requires less stringent security and installation practices. So it is easy to install and operate. The small cells can be mounted on existing street furnitures like poles, bus stands, light traffic lights, buildings. This can obliviate, obliviate the need for erecting thousands of new travels, towers resulting in economical and fast deployment of small cells. Issues with uh, issues in the deployment of small cells. The issues include intense identifying the suitable street furniture based on availability of backhaul, power capabilities of street furniture for mountain suitable equipments, scalability and concerns related to local approval and safety. Moving on to the TRI recommendations, government should do away with the requirement of obtaining a permit for installation of small telecom gear. This recommendation has been followed, I think. The Department of Telecom should exempt low power based transceiver stations with effective radiation power of less than 600 watts from seeking clearance under the mobile tower rollout rules. Department of Telecom should make necessary provisions in the Gati Shakti Sanchar portal to incorporate bulk application filings and processing of all categories of small cells. Power distribution companies that is Discom should make provisions to provide connections for telecom sites to service providers on priority basis and they should charge telecom operators on the basis of running load and not on the sanctioned loan. 
set up a broadband steering committee, state broadband committee and district or municipal monitoring committee to evaluate and assess the progress of small cell rollout. Moving on to end-to-end -end encryption, Apple has announced that it will increase the number of data points protected by end-to-end -end encryptions on iCloud from 14 to 23 categories. Now about the end-to-end -end encryption, end-to-end -end encryption is a communication process that encrypts data being shared between two devices. It prevents third parties like cloud services, cloud service providers, internet service providers and cyber criminals from assessing data while it is being transferred. The process of end-to-end -end encryption uses an algorithm that transforms standard text into unreadable format. This format can only be unscrambled and read by those with the decryption key, which are stored on endpoints and not with any third parties including companies providing the service. So this would be the thing, original data in plain text, cryptographic algorithm using a key and then it is converted into an encrypted form which is gibberish now usage of end-to-end -end encryption end-to-end -end encryption is used to secure communications some of the popular instant messaging services you that use it are signal whatsapp iMessages, google messages etc now apple has stated that the total number of data breaches has more than tripled between 2013 and 2021 hence it is trying to address this rising threat by implementing end-to-end -end encryption End-to-end -end encryption is also seen as a technology that secures users' data from snooping by government agencies making it sought after feature by activists, journalists and political opponents. Government agencies have expressed concern that with end-to-end -end encryption, it may be difficult to track messages shared by terrorists, criminals and other anti-social elements. So the public key is shared on the network the private key remains with the user moving on to chat gtp artificial in intelligence research company openai has announced the launch of chat gtp chat gtp is dialogue based ai chatbot that can understand natural human language and generate human natural human like written text with impressive detailing it is the latest evolution of GPT or generative pre-trained transformers. GPT is a kind of computer language model that relies on deep learning techniques to produce human-like text-based inputs. Working of ChatGPT, now ChatGPT is trained with AI and machine learning to provide information and responses through a conversational interference instead of already system-generated or computerized responses. It is trained on a huge sample of text taken off the internet. The dialog format makes it possible for chat GPT to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistake, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. It can even recall previous comments in a conversation and relay them to the user. Utility of chat GTP Chat GTP can be used in real-world applications like generating content for websites, answering customer inquiries, providing recommendations as well as creating automated chatbots. It can even discover new knowledge for the users and can play the role of virtual assistant. Limitations of ChatGPT Chat GPT. OpenAI claims that ChatGPT will occasionally produce inaccurate information and that its knowledge is restricted to global events that occurred before 2021. AI technology can also perpetuate societal biases like those around race, gender, and culture. Moving on to new breakthrough in nuclear fusion technology, scientists and the US have for the first time achieved a net gain in the energy from a nuclear fusion reaction. In fusion, nuclei of two lighter elements fuse together to form a nucleus of a heavier element. In this process, immense energy is generated. It is the process by which energy is generated in sun and other stars. Energy released in a fusion reaction is much higher than fission, which is example fusion of two nuclei of tritium that is isotope of hydrogen produces at least four times energy as the fusion of uranium atom. Now nuclear fusion is considered the most dependable source of energy in the future. The challenge with fusion is that very high temperatures is required for nuclear fusion to occur. This temperature is dis difficult to establish and 
sustained by human efforts in practice more energy is used in generating and maintaining such high temperatures than created through fusion now about the recent experiment at the national ignition facility laser fusion experiment electricity from the grid was sent into the world's largest array of lasers the laser shot optical energy into a tiny target chamber called ho hal room inside the ho hal room is the fuel capsule it contained a mixture of hydrogen isotope the powerful laser beam can generate 100 million degree celsius of heat the laser beam was hotter than the sun center and helped to compress hydrogen fuel to more than 100 billion times that of earth's atmosphere the high temperature and pressure led to the fusion of hydrogen atoms releasing energy now scientists have been able to target high energy in a fusion experiment than the energy applied for causing the fusion reaction this has created possibility of commercial utilization of nuclear fusion in future although much work remains to be done moving on to wormholes a team of physicists has created the first ever wormhole that is a tunnel that connects two distant points in space and time now wormholes were first theorized in 1935 by albert einstein and nathan rosen a wormhole is like a tunnel between two distant points in the universe that cuts through the travel time from one point to the other instead of traveling for many millions of years from one galaxy to the other under the right conditions the travel time can be cut down to hours or minutes using a wormhole so wormholes are hypothetical areas of wrapped warped space time with great energy that can create tunnels through space time if transferable would allow a traveler to quickly move through great distances in space and time and travel through time now because wormholes represent shortcuts through space time they could act like time machines a person might emerge from one end of the wormhole at a time earlier than when she entered its other end the presence of wormhole has not yet been established through observations or inference by astronomers however scientists often see wormholes described in the solutions to important physics equations such as einstein's theory of space time and general relativity now contributions of jc bose the ministry of culture has organized an international conference jc bose a satyagrahi scientist on the contribution of jc bose on his 164th birth anniversary now about jagdish chandra bose jagdish chandra bose 1858 to 1937 was an indian physicist and plant physiologist he earned a bsc from university college london which was connected with the university of london in 1883 and a ba that is natural science tripos from university of cambridge in 1884 now contributions of jc bose in 1917 he established bones bose institute asia's first modern research center devoted to interdisciplinary studies he discovered wireless communication as was and was named father of radio sciences by the institute of electrical and electronic energy engineering he invented the cresoscope a device for measuring the growth of plants he for the first time demonstrated that plants have feelings he was the first to demonstrate radio communication with millimeter wave which fall in the 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz spectrum now bose is considered as the father of bengali science fiction in 1896 he published niru deshar khan kahani first work of science fiction in bengali language his other books include response in living and non living the nervous mechanism of plants etc now bose was the first asian to be awarded a us patent in 1904 he was awarded a patent for his invention of a detector for electronic disturbances a crater on his on the moon has been named on his honor that will be it